Greetings, friends, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program! It's been a while since I've done one of these. Today I'm going to do another short video where I build something I saw on TV and see how it works. As some of you might not know, I'm a big fan of Battlestar Galactica, the, the remake. I haven't finished the original series. A couple months ago, I became very, very saddened that it was taken off of Netflix and I couldn't rewatch it for the five billionth time. I'm going to try to cope with this loss by building something from the show. I'm going to build a Viper! I got two kinds of Vipers. This is a simple one. I'm going to do, show you just a simple one uh, that's kind of Viper inspired and I'm going to show you a more complicated one that's, that's a little more accurate. I'm sure those of you out there uh, can basically figure out how to build this just by looking at it so I'm not going to go much into the details. But it's very simple. It has enough Delta V to, to get to orbit and to return and land all by itself. So it's, it's just kind of Viper inspired. It only has one engine in the back. Just got a couple of wings. It's not all that maneuverable but it does fly. I can prove it. We're taking off. Full speed ahead! This actually isn't all that maneuverable in the atmosphere. See, this is about as hard as I can turn, as hard as I can pull up. Not, not all that great, gotta say. But it looks, it looks nice. I like the way it looks. Sure is fast though, the pilot's having a good time. Look at it go! It's climbing so quickly and it's, oh, it's getting hot. We're getting hot! I think we're about to switch over to rocket mode. This is the rapier, so it can do rocket and normal mode. There we go, rocket mode! And that's, that's actually space. I'm gonna just stop there. Alright, apoapsis, and go! Go, rocket plane, go! And wait for it, wait for it, bing, we're in orbit! We have achieved orbit, and you said it couldn't be done. No, you didn't. I just made that up, I'm sorry. Alright, now for re-entry. Burn retrograde. Time warp until we hit the atmosphere. It's getting mighty hot. Oh, camera angle changed. That must mean something. Oh, our, our orbit is entirely in the atmosphere. So we are going to burn up or crash. Those are the only two options. Either way, pilot's doing great. Which is all happy. Happy, happy. Looks like these little front uh, fins are about to explode. That's fine. They're not really necessary. I just put them there to, to increase lift in the front, make it a little uh, more maneuverable. A little less like a lawn dart. Yep, there goes one of them. And the other one? No, he's going to hold on. No, oh, there he goes. Okay, now we're balanced. We're coming up on the sun. Hello, sunrise, where are you? I know you're there. I know you're coming. Come on, epic cool shot. And sunrise! Yay! Well, there went some parts. Solar panels. We don't need those anyway. Like, literally, as soon as the sun shows up, the solar panels explode. Oh, but I got one left. Right there. He's still good. Never mind. Well, now that we're pretty much back in the atmosphere, we're still going kind of fast. We're going to slow down soon enough. Looks like we got not not a lot of fuel left in the jet engine. But, you know, enough to fly around. Enough to fly around and we have enough control services left to do a few rolls at crazy high speed. We're all good, see? Mission accomplished. I'm not going to bother landing it. You know, this is kind of the simple one. We're going to go straight to the fancy one. So here we go. Behold! Here it is. The more complex Viper. This is all made using stock parts only and a couple of little tricks but they're all they're all stock you don't have to do any mods to make this see I got the three engines three engines in the back still rapiers it's so the cool looking wing has got the wing profile a little bit more realistic it's about the best I could do with the stock parts I don't have any guns obviously there's no guns but uh, yeah here it is got a little better shape a little more accurate a lot more parts this one actually has RCS and thrusters and all that because the ones in the show have RCS Got a couple of batteries tucked under here and a and a fuel tank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it for a flight, and then after the flight, I'm going to show you how to build it. So any of you who are interested in how to build it, how I got these things uh, to look like this, and how I got it all organized, and why everything is where it is, you can uh, keep watching after the flight and see how I would make it. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, here we are on the runway. So far in my test flights, I've been able to get into orbit real easy. Your re-entry is not too bad. Uh, landing has been slightly less successful. Uh, haven't changed anything since all those tests, but I got a good feeling about this one. So we're going to give it a shot anyway. Okay, three, two, one, go! Build enough speed. Oh, we're going going kind of the right. Going a bit to the right. Are we going to make it? Are we gonna... Okay, we're good. Success! If I pull up Engineer here, for some reason with this ship, it doesn't give me accurate uh, Delta V remaining. Like when I'm in space, it'll say zero. You guys will see that in a second. I don't really know why. I mean, obviously there's fuel left and it still flies, but it says zero for a really long time. So uh, don't trust Engineer. I haven't updated Engineer. There is a new update, so that's pro that could be uh, part of the problem. 
Alright, we're getting higher now, so I'll crank up the throttle. I didn't want to get going too fast down lower. Things start uh, going wrong. It's getting hotter! Hotter and faster. This thing looks really cool from the front, too. The big opening and the three more openings. Switch to rocket power! Get that apoapsis nice and high. Alright, and now we're just gonna coast. What do you think, pilot? You're surrounded by an air intake. Hope it doesn't suck your head off. So if you watch the ships in the show really carefully, you will see they actually have RCS. So they have thrusters to kind of point them around, and so does this one. Not, not that many, I just kind of stuck them on haphazardly, but it does help with maneuverability a little bit. Personally, I really like the way this thing looks. I think it looks amazing. Alright, apoapsis. Time to get this baby into orbit. And see, look at this. It says we're running out of Delta V. It says we're going to run out right now. But we did. We're still going. We got that much fuel left, you know? That's plenty of fuel. Look, now we're in orbit. Huzzah! We made it! So peaceful. Soaring through space. Only this time, there's no war going on. Alright, let's get our re-entry on. With these, with these thrusters, it really, really maneuvers well in space. I think you can flip the thing right around nice and easy. There we go. Re-entry into the atmosphere. That will put us down nowhere near the space center. We're going to be way too high for that. Oh well, we don't need that. Who needs to go back there? Those guys are jerks anyways. This time we're actually going to see everything that's happening because the sunrise is coming. It's almost here, actually. Come on, sun. There's the sun. Hello, sun. I really like the fact that you can turn off the UI. It makes it much cooler to look at, that's for sure. Except I don't know, like, what I'm doing. Or if there's any fuel left. Or if things are about to explode. You know, those minor details. You kind of lose those in this view. One cool thing about this, you may have noticed, if you know Kerbal Space Program, I have air brakes. Those are very, very vital. It's going to help this not take forever to slow down. That'll just help us slow down a little bit faster. We'll have, uh, hopefully, fewer things burning up on this. What was the last one? Five parts burned up, I think? Yeah. Three solar panels, two of those little fins on the front. The fins weren't necessary anyway. Solar panels weren't really either. So I guess, yeah, perfect mission success. We didn't need those parts. So much re-entry. I bet I, if I took all the footage I have of ships re-entering, I bet I could make a two hour long video. Like this and all the other, all the other episodes. Too bad I deleted all the footage. Can't keep all of it. Each one of these Kerbal Space Program videos records for like a hundred gigs and I can't store all that. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. I see the space center. I see it. It's up ahead. I think, I think we're gonna make it. We, maybe we can land on the runway. That'd be cool. Probably won't make it if I leave all these air brakes on though. Gonna try to coast in as much as possible. We're coming down like a missile! We're gonna crash! Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully not. These thrusters also help kind of with maneuverability in the atmosphere too, if you can see. This thing doesn't really have a lot of vertical uh, control. It could help if you put like little canards on the front. You know, little canard control surfaces? That'd probably make it great for flying around in the atmosphere, but it kind of didn't look right, you know? I was just going for the look. Also, unfortunately, when you don't have uh, the, the rockets going, this thing kind of drops like a rock. Just it, It's so hard to keep the nose up. You gotta keep going like the speed of sound to keep it flying level. Again, canards in the front would help, but, you know, I didn't wanna. So the design isn't perfect, but, you know, when do I ever do anything perfect? I'm gonna go ahead and hit the brakes, too, while I'm at it. Cut the engines. Come on. Okay, we're flying in good. Nice and level. Oh, we landed a little hard. Oh, we're gonna tip. We're gonna tip. We're gonna tip. Come on, thrusters, save me. They saved me. Look at that. Woo, we did it. Yay. I can't believe that worked. Believe it or not, I flew this thing like three times, three, four times in this exact configuration once I figured out how to design it, and I've literally never once successfully landed it without it completely blowing up and killing the Kerbal. It was first time. First time for everything. First time was on camera. Told you I had a good feeling about this one. All right, we're back here. So I told you it's kind of different the way I had to the way I had to build this. Uh, in general, it's fairly standard, except I used a couple of advanced these advanced controls up here, and these are new for full release, I think, or maybe they're new in beta. I don't know, but they're here. They're here today. I'm gonna show you what they did. So starting with this top thing, why why is that upside down? So I kind of took the fuel tank, stuck it on the top of this RCS tank, you know, the normal way. Uh, see, it's just kind of sticking sticking right up there, and put the put the parts on, you know, and then I took this tool here which is the offset tool. Click, that sees up here, right there, offset. Click that and it gives you those little arrows. And with the arrows you can actually click and drag and kind of slide the parts together. It's called part clipping. So I kind of clipped them together, slid that top one back a little bit so that the cockpit wasn't completely covered by the intake. And that kind of gives you that built-in look. And I did the same for these side pieces as well. 
and I kind of I kind of stuck them to the side and then use this little red thing to slide them in but I also slid them down a little bit you see they're not they're not symmetrical or they're not perfectly on either side of this center fuselage they're a little below the reason I did that is because if you take center of mass center of thrust you want the center of thrust to kind of be pointing straight into the middle of the center of mass otherwise when you hit the gas the ship's gonna want to go nose down or nose up and that's bad so I stuck those a little below the center of mass stuck this one on top and it's not perfect I think the thrust is slightly above center of mass but you know not perfect again I don't do anything perfect and using those part clipping things you can kind of hide some other parts inside like the batteries and this little this little RCS tank in the middle I also do the same for this top wing and I'll, I'll, I'll stick it back on so you can see exactly what I did. I took the top wing, stuck it on the top there, and thought, yeah, there we go. Except it's too high, and it's kind of too upright for the, the Viper Mark IIs that were in the new series. It kind of looks more like the original series, but I watched the new series. So there, I, I took this, took the offset tool, dropped it down into the tank a little bit, and then I took this other one here, which gives you kind of this, which allows you to swivel, swivel the parts, and I grabbed this, swiveled it back a little bit to kind of give it that that slant more slanted look and there you have it and it still works and then i stuck the air brakes on because i didn't want things burning up in re-entry like you saw one last thing this is a liquid fuel and oxidizer tank so are these two on the side but this one on top is a liquid fuel only tank liquid fuel only because we fly around a bit in jet only mode so we needed a little bit extra liquid fuel compared to oxidizer otherwise we'd come back in and we'd burn up all our liquid fuel and have all this oxidizer left it kind of happened if you go back and watch uh, we sort of landed with uh, very little liquid fuel compared to the oxidizer but it, it all worked out you know again not perfect so there you go i hope you liked it if you want to see me build anything else from any cool uh, sci-fi whatever let me know i know there's a bunch of star wars uh, movies coming out pretty soon those would be fun ships to try to make at least to try to make them fly that's kind of what i'm trying to do i want to make them but i want them to be useful like these were this is a viper mark ii or at least that's what i tried and it actually works it's an ssto you can take it right into orbit it doesn't have any docking ports now that i think about it huh i'm sure you could add those it'd be fine whatever but yeah there you go i hope you enjoyed please leave a like or a comment below and let me know what you think let me know what you want to see next Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Die, Glass! Stop it. Stop that one. Stop it. It's a very nice house. Not anymore. I like this. Space, full space. Full I don't know what the objective was. I don't know what the objective was. Was that that statue I was carrying? Yes. Oh. I picked it up and she was like, oh, fly. I'm going to make a feel now. I'm going to continue to get out of